tutorial on, uh, on uh, in importing uh, PowerPoints into Prezi and creating a, a screen capture video for YouTube for your uh, for a presentation. Um, in front of me, two things you're going to need is uh, Microsoft Expression Encoder. You go to Microsoft, it's um, a download encoder ENC. You'll need that in your PC, and you'll see that when you install it, you'll get an expression, and you'll have to run what's called the screen capture tool. And if you run that, um, you just hit record and make sure your narration's on. I recommend just narrating your voice rather than your full video, but you can have your full video. But you will need a webcam of some sort. Second thing you'll need is Prezi. Prezi is a, an awesome uh, online utility. You can sign up. Um, what's neat about it, you can sign up with Facebook. So I can go in and sign in through Facebook um, and go right in and create a new Prezi. And I'm going to call this one quality management, quality management uh, <coughs> um, slides, just for this project. Create a new Prezi. And uh, what's great about it, uh, Prezi, you can pick a whole bunch of different types of tools in here. So I'm actually capturing this. So I'm going to, because I'm dealing with quality management, it deals with phases of a process. I'm going to choose that template. There's some really neat. Um, things you can do with this but I can go in here and put quality assurance slides and put in here uh, my name by Kevin Glant um, quality management course um, what's great about uh, is that it has ability to bring in PowerPoints if you go here PowerPoint and what I did is I set up on my desktop some PowerPoint slides for you to understand um, is a Prezi how-to and I've got a whole bunch of slides in here and they don't work every time but in here are all the slides now this is the one thing to remember it takes a few minutes for all of them to convert especially if you have a poor wireless connection or uh, can you imagine it's bringing all your images and text and transitions and everything else so this one has quite a few slides if you look at this presentation while it's loading through Microsoft <coughs> I've got uh, almost 35 slides which is a big presentation for even a half hour but I talk about performance excellence notice the designs you have your own and it may not necessarily bring in all the designs exactly as you want um, so it's back to here so it's still importing in um, taking it quite a while and uh, but I, I have a few graphic slides where I define process and uh, few charts um, and so you know it, it, it could take some time for all these graphics to come in so the smaller the file size in your slides the better that there's no slides in here um, but anyways when you want to bring all these 35 slides in um, there's the option at the bottom to in bring in the tagging okay which allows you to bring in paths. So if you have a path flow, it automates that. Um, it's called add path. And you want to want a flow similar to this, in my case, start to end how to bring those in. And that's it. Once you bring those in, um, you just go yes, and you can go in here and scale those. You can see them on the left. So now I've got to take these pictures and uh, and simply by grabbing the window of these photos, I can hold down the shift key and drag in my stuff over here for the course and bring them in. Once I do that, I won't take the time to go through it. You just go right, start presentation, and it actually goes through um, step by step if you brought it right next each part of the process. So what you see in front of me is I'm actually editing my slides. If I start my presentation, um, hit next. If you right click you can hit next and you go to slides. And you'll notice some of them aren't, you can actually zoom in and zoom out, but, but it's pretty bland. There's not a lot of uh, uh, visuals. So you can add actually import images into Brezzi. So I can go from file and bring in images so I could bring in uh, design cycle bring in um, um, uh, the life cycle so for example this one here 
um, I can uh, um, save this as a picture in my save that was on a presentation you got from someone else and you wanted to uh, put it into uh, the uh, this Prezi I can call this I don't know a spiral um, and this is a life cycle so I can go into Prezi add images so bring in a higher resolution image process it and bring it into this slide which is really nice so you can bring in shapes symbols pencil highlighter so I could go and you know highlight this here like this so it's really neat um, 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 features um, so anyway so I'm going to start the presentation again and um, so there's a QA process um, so there's my first one here's my second one and so on so I have to each so so what's great about this is I can um, go through my presentation and as I go through I can use these controls um, my activities quality process quality <clears throat> and I go oh I don't like this slide so I just escape and the graphics too small and just bring that up and move it down so it's pretty neat that way that um, um, I can uh, change my background because um, of this whole slide so I can make it I don't know a, a bluish <coughs> I could even make it 3d so um, so those are things that you can do uh, uh, there's advanced settings and so I'm gonna make it a nice blue blues good with video by the way so anyways those are um, uh, things that you can do uh, to continue with the slides so that's uh, um, Prezi itself but how do you actually record this well if you use what's called screen encoder you can actually start the pro expresses screen capture you can actually uh, have your whole uh, presentation stored um, as you narrate it um, the thing is you've got to make it web ready and they have a second product that when you download the encoder and it's called expression encoder I'm going to bring in a project I've done before so I'm going to go to what's called transcoder project and what that enables you to do to take your screen capture file so I'll just open up uh, um, one that I've done recently um, just go to my uh, and it stores it in a folder called screen output so these are some that I've done before for students this one's on uh, demo reel so I'll load this up so it, ha it stores its own format it's called uh, I think it's EX uh, e X E S E so this example of a screen capture I did with Prezi and I go to the app and um, this is so just like a this PCR week. controls but all you have to do is go encode and what that does it it takes it a while but it converts it to what's called a WMV file and when you go back to the same folder okay um, in this case it's called expression um, out, in your output you'll find your your screen capture file and then you just simply go to YouTube bring that up and now you've got a narrated presentation from Prezi from PowerPoint slides and that's it thank you hopefully uh, it wasn't too technical take care